All right, what's up tycoons? What's up traders? Super excited for today's video. We're going to take a look at A0, A left zero token. Taking a look at the daily chart and we're going to go over some of the bullish price targets to the upside as well as the major support levels we need to hold, okay? If we break below these support levels, we could be bearish below those levels. We'll also give a breakdown on the RSI as well as the MACD. Take a look at both of those things so that way you guys can learn how to really understand some of the price action and be able to spot some future potential entries and exits. So make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and we're going to jump straight into it. So the reason we look at these three levels specifically is these are the three most common and well-respected Fibonacci retracement levels. Those are going to be the 38.2, the 50%, and 61.8% level. The reason we look at those is because nothing moves in a straight line up or a straight line down, whether you get a move up retracement continuation of the trend or a move down retracement continuation of the trend. Obviously, that's how you're going to spot trend continuation. And that's what we've gotten here recently, right? We had a swing low connected up to our swing high. We had a nice move up. We retraced, held above the 50% retracement level right here, and then continued that trend and hit our bullish price targets. So what we're doing is we're looking if we're getting another healthy retracement to continue the trend and possibly hit some of our bullish price targets up here to the upside. Okay, uh, now those levels, those are going to be 1.5182 and 1.4087. We need to hold above these levels. If we start to consolidate and break below those levels, we could get a reversal. Remember, I said you either get retracement or move down, retracement, continuation, lower, move up, retracement, continuation, lower. You also can spot reversals by using these levels. So if you move up, retrace, consolidate, and then break through those retracement levels, you can spot a downside reversal potentially. So we've already started our retracement. We really need to hold above that 1.4080 level. If we can do that and move up higher and break past our previous highs over here, we could potentially hit 2.05, 2.21, as well as 2.433. Um, so those are going to be the next bullish price targets that I'm looking at on A0, on um, A left zero. And just like I said, if we break below these levels and we break below retest our 61.8% level as resistance, then we're going to be bearish below there. And most likely we're going to retest some of our previous lows, uh, whether it's those lows or these lows. Uh, just depends right on how extended the move is but if we take a look at the MACD the MACD is useful for spotting possible entries and exits so if you take a look here we have the red line all right curled below the blue line here on the MACD that's going to be an exit signal so you see we get that exit signal right around here and then we got a sharp little pullback okay um, but we did have the same thing happen over here previously as well, right? And we saw a little bit of a pullback, but look what happened. The red line crossed below. That was our exit signal. And then it crossed right back above. So when the red line crosses above the blue line on the MACD, that's going to be an entry signal. And you can see that we actually started our next move and hit our bullish price targets after getting that MACD entry signal. So we're going to pay close attention to the MACD on our daily time frame and see if we can get that curl back above. And if it can curl back above the blue line, then we have the potential, you know, to really get this healthy retracement and ultimately get another push up to our bullish price targets. Now, if this thing keeps uh, staying below the blue line, it continues to head lower. Most likely the token as well is going to head lower. So keep that in mind. Now, not only did we get the MACD sell signal, but we were actually building something known as bearish divergence. So a lot of this pullback has been justified and has been coming, right? We've been needing to have a pullback after this massive rally since January. If you take a look, most crypto as well as this one has been rallying really, really hard since the beginning of the year. Okay. Um, so if you take a look, what we ended up getting was um, highs, higher highs and higher highs, right? So we have a high here, we have a higher high, we have a higher high. So obviously the token is in an uptrend, right? There's no secret about that. It's making higher highs. But if you look at your RSI, this is measuring the relative strength of a token at its given price. And it should reflect and you know coincide with the price of the token. But in fact, we actually get a high, we get a lower high, and then we get a lower high. So we're actually creating slightly lower highs on the relative strength index while we're making higher highs on the price of the token. This would be a slight bearish divergence right here. 
and, the, and a bearish divergence is an indicator you could see some type of bearish activity. So what happens is we get the bearish divergence right here. We hit that trend line again. And then very shortly afterwards, we get a MACD sell signal, right? And so a lot of this move could have been predicted. And if you were riding this momentum up, you could have taken profit around here or protected the trade with a stop loss and then look for the next possible re-entry, right? And so the re-entry is going to be if we hold above our 1.4087 level and if we get a MACD uh, buy signal, you know, crossing back up above that blue line here. Now, of course, this video is not financial advice, right? I'm not telling anyone to buy this token or sell this token or pumping it or dumping it, anything like that. Uh, rather, I'm just trying to teach you guys how to understand price action and some of the different indicators and strategies that you can use to help give yourself an edge in the market. Trading is like going to battle. It's like going to war. And you need to have the proper weapons at your disposal and know how to use those weapons to increase your odds of success on the battlefield. Now, Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do these viewer requests every week. So if you want to see your token in the next video, all you've got to do is comment down below.